Hi, hello. So in here there is this slight annoying curve that it is with us for many months now. Now take a good look. In here I cannot do nothing because this knot here crashes with this knot. So this head crashes with this head so I cannot do nothing. In the back in here this one cannot come up this one so it, it if this one crashes with this one it's bad also so I don't have chance to do nothing here but take a good look so this is what I've done if this has something something in here something in, in here that gives this this position it will come vertical so I've tried to do here a lark head as you can see there is here a space and in this space I put here a lark head and in these I've put two itches so in here it's two itches and here it's a lark head in order to do what to do this and I think that this will fix the problem of course I have to undo all this still here but well I will do it with a closed camera, so for you it's actually the same. So I've tried a lark head and a each. Now I'm going to undo it just for us to see, and I think that these will fix will fix the problem of these curves and leave actually this long row in a vertical position. So this is the theory. That's why I've tried two knots different in here just to see the effect and probably I will have to to look at more you see here so I'm going to take out this one and this is a demonstration of how I create beautiful pieces sometimes they are really beautiful you see there is two hitches here making a space so that this will stay vertical. If it is in all, I have the, convic the conviction that it will fix. Of course, I can also make, make only one each. So it is, I have to test it. I'm going to, to undo the camera. And then I have to test it. It is one enough. Just one like this, just an each. And it is enough to give a small space. So it's just a each there, and a each there, and a each there. So to make it all the same. Or I need two itches, so I'm undoing the each. So you see the each is very easy. It's made with the central part of the knot. And it's made around this one. So to give it precisely here, to put this one in a vertical line. I think that this is, is, is pulling too much, so if I do it like this, I'll have them fixed, right? So the only thing here now is to see what to do. If a lark head, if two itches, or if one itch, or I don't know, something else, something else that I am not seeing this is all a question of seeing right testing seeing testing seeing testing seeing so i'm going to undo this till there wow just for you to see the lark head the difference from the lark head to the each and then i will close it and i have to go to work well, if, if, <laughs> that's the way it is, yeah, never alone, right? Well, it's not bad, not so bad. So, here we are. You see here the lark's head, it's here, I put it here. So now I'm going to undo it, and doing the off. of each of the lark head and the second of each of the lark head 
So this is my plan. Now I'm going to undo it with the camera closed. I have to undo all this till here. That's not much. In order to do this, to keep it vertical. Alright, see you. I hope you are enjoying. And this actually, I think it's very important. This is the really important things in macrame. They're a little boring perhaps, but well, there is no other way. Thank you for watching and see you in a few moments.